The move to sustainable transport is essential for addressing climate change, reducing pollution and enhancing urban living. Combined efforts are paving the way for a greener, more sustainable future in transportation. Let's speak now to Bakajan Sandal Khan, who is a partner and associate director of Green Energy and Environment at BCG. Thank you very much for being with us this evening. Um, first question for you, you know, what are the the key benefits of, of this move to electric vehicles for urban trans transportation. Um, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Uh, let me start with the overall transportation emissions. Uh, in global, it is over quarter, and in UAE, it is 20% of the total emissions coming from transport sector. Holistic approach and robust framework tells us three key steps. First, avoid non-necessary motorized travel and demand management. Second, shift to the less carbon intensive uh, modes, including public transportation. And third one is improving carbon and energy efficiency of the vehicles, which is electric vehicles are one of the examples. And electrification gives uh, many good uh, uh, benefits. One of them is the half of the emissions of the conventional car, according to I International Energy Agency. And on top of that, there's a co benefits of reduced noise, air quality improvement, more livable cities and more health and benefit for us. Now, when it comes to public transportation, um, how can that be made more efficient, do you think? Public transportation is important for the reducing emissions and increasing the uh, quality of life. And in order to make it more sustainable and more efficient, first, of course, the reducing the technological uh, uh, impact of the, of the, of the uh, in combustion, which is the uh, electrification or hydrogen or, 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 or hybrid modes, and impl implementing more technological solutions like uh, smart traffic management or AI-based uh, congestion management systems. And also the policy planning on the urban uh, development is important, having the multimodal uh, seamless connected buses and also the uh, train and, uh, and, 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 and metro, all interconnected uh, seamlessly, multimodal uh, transportation is important. What do you think is accelerating the move to sustainable transport, transport particularly here in the UAE at the moment? I can happily mention so many examples, mm -hmm. um, starting with the expansion of the metro networks, uh, starting with the cycling tracks, Mm -hmm. and then all new uh, bridges and then and then infrastructures built and implementing traffic uh, smart traffic management systems in UAE and lastly I can mention that Etihad Rail which is 12,000 uh, kilometers uh, 1200 kilometer Etihad Rail will reduce 2.2 million ton greenhouse gas emissions which is equivalent of 375,000 cars off the road Amazing progress is obviously being made, and, and you know some of those you've just highlighted. What, what challenges remain, do you think, at the moment? Yeah, there are five key challenges I can mention. First one is upfront cost for the low carbon solutions. And second one is related to the coupling with the energy sector. And third one is the data availability. And then uh, there's a behavioral change needed, which is, uh, is extremely important. And fifth one is more or less related to the holistic and multi-level uh, uh, governance. Uh, in, in, in the multi-level governance especially, I need to mention that it is a whole of government approach needed, which is enhanced by the public-private partnership, uh, will uh, benefit us for moving into more sustainable transportation. Very interesting topic. We've run out of time, but uh, Bakajan Sandal Khan, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much.